So you may remember from years past, we did our 12 days of Christmas where the lovely Dean Bean would open 12 gifts across 12 days leading up to Christmas Day. Uh, and they always had a theme and he would try to guess the theme. And you guys would play along and try to guess with us. And great fun. However, we're just overloaded with stuff. Like most people in this country these days. Too much stuff. So we're cutting back this year and we're switching things up a little bit. Um, we have decided to do 12 days of giving. giving. Yay! So the way it works is we have a little baggie here. We have chosen 12 charities that mean something to us or that we regularly donate to or that, that we think are good that yeah we've sort of vetted and we think are worth our money each one and, is and your money your money stay tuned each one is written on a piece of paper in here balled up cannot see we're going to choose one each day and then we will make a donation on that day to whichever charity is chosen the fun part is we are also going to set up on Facebook uh, through the charitable giving tools that they have started this year uh, so each of you can make a donation through our Facebook pages. So we'll explain a little bit more as we go on. So all right, day one, do you want to choose? Make sure. sure they're nice and mixed up in here. So in theory, whichever charity gets chosen today will have the longest fundraiser on our Facebook pages because the one chosen today will run from today through Christmas or Christmas Eve, whereas the one chosen on the 23rd is only going to run for a day. Is it going to be? We might leave it up to the first of the year. We'll Maybe, yeah, we'll see. But they'll all have the same cutoff end date is the point. And one will be obviously much longer than the one the next day. All right, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? I think that's just one. We're going to do a National Park Trust. All right. And Something we did, local. yeah, we did try to do a mix of local. I say local. Shenandoah National Park is obviously very, very big. Um, but we do live just a few miles from the yep. northernmost entrance. So we're, we spend a lot of time there. Um, also, national parks are sort of under fire a little bit this year. Um, so we thought that would be a worthy cause. So, like I said, we do have a mix of some sort of local charities, some U.S. charities, and then some international charities. So, let me look up the Shenandoah National Park Trust here. As the official philanthropic partner of Shenandoah National Park, the trust invests your philanthropic dollars in park programs and initiatives to ensure Shenandoah National Park remains a crown jewel of national park service and national treasure for all to enjoy for generations to come. Uh, our money goes to preserve natural and historical resources, connect people with their park, educate the next generation, enhance the work of the park service. So there you go. Now, a little bit squirrely. Facebook does not allow pages to create fundraisers. You can only do it through a personal profile. So I, I think 99% of the people who follow this page are know us personally, friends or family. So please go on to my personal page, or mine. go on to Jean's personal page, either one or both, and make a donation. Just click the donate button when you see Shenandoah National Park Trust fundraiser. Click the donate button in the bottom right hand corner, $5. That's it. it. It doesn't have to be a ton of money. If you are not on either of our personal profiles, please, you can still go to the Shenandoah National Park Trust page. We will link them on the Finstead Homestead page and make your own donation. It does not need to be through our fundraiser, but we urge you to go out and help us raise money this season. 